Does your next experiment involve FGF23? This video is for scientists who want to run Western blot, IHC flow or other immunoassays against FGF23. We will cover some basic facts, protein expression, and FGF23's expected behavior in Western blot. All information in this video is based on public information and no proprietary experimental evidence was used. Topic 1. Quick Facts About FGF23 Fibroblast Endothelial Growth Factor 23, or FGF23, is a phosphotropic hormone that is secreted from specific cells. It is highly involved in the recycling of phosphate as well as regulating and metabolizing vitamin D. FGF23 is 251 amino acids long and runs about 32 kilodaltons on a western blot. Topic 2. Where is FGF23 expressed? FGF23 is expressed in osteoblasts and osteoclasts, then secreted to circulate the body. FGF23 RNA is also expressed in the brain. You can find more information on proteinatlas.org to check out which cell lines express FGF23 and which ones don't. This information will come in handy when designing positive and negative controls for Western blot and immunohistochemistry. Topic 3, FGF23 in Western blotting. Antibody specificity can make or break an experiment. After looking through Western blot images from publications and antibody companies, we can see that typically one band can be expected in an FGF23 Western blot at about 32 kilodaltons. Check out the PMC link for more images, which is also provided in the description box. Topic 4. Some interesting facts about FGF23. FGF23 was originally discovered in 2000 in mouse brain samples. Certain mutations on FGF23 that cause loss of function of the protein can lead to autosomal dominant hereditary rickets and tumor-induced osteomalacia. Thank you for watching, and check out the links and references in the description box below. Let us know in the comments which biomarker you would like us to discuss next. Subscribe to stay tuned for more biomarker videos.